Hey there, it's Jeremy here with the Practical IT Channel, and today we're going to be talking about Ventoy. We're going to start with Linux, and we're going to install it, and we're also going to install it on Windows. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is download Ventoy. You go to ventoy.net, head over to Downloads, go to the Linux version. It's going to jump you over to GitHub. If you scroll down, you grab the Linux version and save that to your downloads. We're going to go ahead and close up Firefox and open my home folder, downloads, and we're here at Ventoy. And so we're going to go ahead and just open this up in Terminal. Make that larger. And we'll increase the text size so everybody can read it. The utility we're going to use is the ventoy2disk.sh but first we need to find out which USB device is the one we want to use. We'll do LSBLK and I've already been through this once but since I messed up a setting in OBS we're re-recording this so I'm going to completely rerun this um, demo. We're going to do sudo dot slash ventoy to disk dash i for install. And then we got to specify slash dev slash sdb, which is our device. It's going to prompt for password. Already contains ventoy. If you want to reinstall Ventoy, use the dash capital I option. Okay, so we're going to do that because I want to go through the whole process. Dash capital I. Yes, it's going to install and all data is going to be lost. Ask you a second time just to double check. Yes, and it's going to go ahead and do its thing. Once this is done, then all we have to do is copy over an image and when you boot from this device it will build a menu and let you select from the different options of all the different ISOs that are on this disk. We'll close that up and if we come over here we've got Ventoy. There's nothing on that disk right now. So we will take that, move it to the right hand side here, and we're going to create a new window. All right, so if we come to downloads, I should have one ISO image on here. And we're going to grab this ISO and we're just going to drag it over. And this will take a minute to copy over, and it's just that easy. And the reason I'm so interested in this tool is that I've been using a tool called Yumi, which only runs on Windows. You can run it on Linux if you're using Wine or something like Crossover Office or something like that. Uh, but I prefer to use native applications and not use Windows versions if I can avoid it. That all being said, I'm going to switch over to Windows at this point and we're going to go through the install process for Ventoy on Windows. When we're done installing and copying ISO images, we will also boot the virtual machine in VirtualBox off from that USB stick. So. Let's transition over and we'll get started. All right, moving to the Windows side of things. We start from the Ventoy website, downloads, go to the zip file, 
it opens up GitHub, and then you can download the zip file right from here. So I've already done this, and we're going to go ahead and just open up my downloads. We will extract Ventoy. Go ahead and open up the new folder. And double click on Ventoy to disk. Yes, we want to run that. Okay, so we need to install Ventoy on the device. And there are a few options here that you have. It does have secure boot support option for partition style and partition configuration you can also select language so it's got the correct device selected so we're going to go ahead and click install and say yes and yes again and when this is done the device will be renamed to ventoy and we can start copying ISO images over. Or we've got an error. All right, we'll try that again on a different disk. I've installed a Sony disk that I've never had any issues with before. So we'll see if we can't install Ventoy onto this disk and see if we can get through the demo. The moral of the story is don't use the garbage USB disks that you can buy in bulk on certain websites. Okay, so now that we've got Ventoy installed, all we have to do is open another Explorer window. And copy over some ISO images. So, what do we have here? We've got Parted Magic, and we've got, oops, and we've got Pop OS and RescueZilla. So, we can take these, we can copy them over. And I'll come back when this process is done. And just like that, with the magic of post-production, we are done copying our files over to our thumb drive. At this point, really all you see on here is your three ISO images, which is great. So the next step is I'm going to bring it back over to the Mac, and we're going to see if we can't boot this in VirtualBox. Hang on just a moment. Okay, after a little bit of fiddling, I actually got the USB drive to show up in VirtualBox. I had to make a raw disk, which required a little bit of command line foo. But if everything goes correctly, we will have the option to boot off this USB disk. And hopefully everything will go okay so let's let's see what we can do with this and uh resource busy okay so this is the problem i've been having let's jump back to the command line for a minute on the other screen i'm gonna inject that disk from the command line and then maybe Things will cooperate. And we do, in fact, have Ventoy. And that is going to boot off the USB disk. So, with a little look, this might take a minute or two, but it should boot up into Kali Linux. So I'll go ahead and pause this 
and I'll be back in just a moment. And we're just at the end of the Kali Linux boot up process. We don't have a menu yet, but hey, it actually worked. We're, we booted in VirtualBox off a USB uh, by way of a raw file. So this is pretty cool. So yes, you probably don't want to use this in a virtual machine, but for the sake of demonstration purposes, uh, this was the easiest way to set up to, to show this to you. And so this is sort of a game changer for me, being able to use Ventoy, because it not only exists for Windows, but it also runs on Linux. And I am very much pursuing an open source first mindset and approach to all things I do computing wise. Uh, yes, I am still running a Mac, but I'm in that transition because this particular Mac mini is no longer supported by Apple. I am running the very latest version of Mac OS that is supported and I am beginning to plan that transition back to Linux for probably 90 or better percent of what I do from day to day. Yes, I'll still keep a Windows box around, but all of my productive work is actually going to be done on Linux going forward. It's still going to take me a little bit of time to make this whole transition happen, but I have most of the pieces in place to pull this off. And later this year, if everything falls into place the rest of the way, I will be making that transition the rest of the way over to Linux. And uh, once uh, this version of macOS is completely unsupported and not getting security updates any longer, then I will probably convert the Mac Mini over to a Linux machine as well. And it will likely end up uh, being a NAS box. I've got some plans. It's just executing on the plan and making everything happen. Make sure it's tested properly and move on from there. So there we have Kali Linux running. Uh, again, this was a demonstration of Ventoy and we have indeed made sure that the USB stick does work and booted it up in VirtualBox. And that's going to wrap up this video. If you liked the video and got something out of it, please take a moment and like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, you will notice down in my description for this video, I not only have timestamps for the video, but I also have some affiliate links. So if you do not have a current account with DigitalOcean or Vulture, you can go through the links and get some free time on those services. And also there are some Amazon links uh, to some interesting products below. This does not change your price on the product, but it does give a little bit of a kickback to the channel, which is going to allow me to purchase additional products for review and products that will enhance the quality of my videos going forward. On that note, I'd like to thank you once again for watching. Stay safe out there. Have a great day and happy computing. See you in the next video.